So every once in a while, we'll get a call to travel for a leak detection. This job was in the middle of the Caribbean. It was a high profile job, and so I don't wanna say who it actually was. But on jobs like this, sometimes I'll reach out to some of the contractors that I've trained in the past. On this job, I contacted Lou Tobia out of Lake Worth, Florida at Gator Pool Leak Detection. Um, I keep in touch with all of my trainees, uh, him especially. So what we did was I got on a plane, went to Florida, met Lou in Florida, flew out to the Caribbean, of which we had to take another flight, got to this job, and this is how we did it. This was, again, a high-end job, 360-degree negative edge. Take a look and see how we got it done. So when we walk up on any pool, I'm downstairs checking out the system while Lou is listening with our leak detection equipment. We have to note that there was a lot of wind, always constant wind on this job. So it was very difficult with our mics that actually went down into the swimming pool itself. This met us how to start with a pressure test. And what we also did was static test. Our static tests were giving us bad results. That's why we had a pressure test everything because of the eyeballs that were on there. So we had to break them off and it was a little bit of an issue. Next, we got into the plumbing. This is from down below. We pressured up with air and water from down below to get the air to rise and we listened. Here, we had a 360 degree negative edge. So what we actually did was flooded it. And when we flooded it, we were actually able to die test and look at all this dye pulling in. And this was on multiple joints. So we had a ton of leaks. So with all high-end leak detections, I like to draw up a diagram. Here's what we wrote up. It includes some of the suggested repairs. Um, we noted where the leaks were heard. We noticed where we found everything in the catch trough, and here it is. So that's how we were able to get this job done. Uh, we wrote up the price. We wrote up the repairs. Uh, the suggested repairs. We're not going out to do that job, but whenever we do a leak detection of this caliber, we'll uh, make suggested repairs and we'll always be able to consult with them now that I know the pool, now that I know the job, and now that I know the layout, I know how that job has to get fixed. I made those recommendations and that's how we got this job done. For more information, visit leaktronics.com and always check out our YouTube channel.